Welcome back. So today I will teach you, okay, funny story. I'll teach you how you can scam writers. Yeah, I'll be teaching you how to scam your fellow friends and your fellow writers. Um, but this video is actually not about that. It's about how to avoid being scammed. But to know that, we have to delve into the heads on the strategies and the psychological tools that they use in order to scam people like you. So take this video as how to not get scammed. By the way, I changed my setting. I'm not gonna be moving around a lot. I'm gonna be sitting down this time and I hope that this helps because some of you express an issue with my videos where I move around a lot, like I'm freaking Usain Bolt or something like that or you know, seasickness or something like that. So. I will be making sure I don't sh move around a lot, okay? I promise I'm not gonna do that. So, let's delve into how you, sir, okay, demon, how you can scam writers. The main philosophy of how writers get scammed is by actually understanding the fundamental philosophy to all writer writing scams, okay? All writing scams prey on one thing about writers. And that, about the, that one thing about writers is basically, writers are not business savvy people. They are not really very familiar with the business aspect of things. For the most part, writers are very good at writing stories and they're passionate people and they're emotionally driven people. However, they don't like marketing and they hate marketing books. And so, what you end up with are a lot of writers out there simply just don't know how to market books and they don't know the numbers of the business of book publishing. So, every scam you do, you have to center it around the fact that writers don't know about business, for the most part. This is a vast majority of, of them. And so the way you can apply this, the first way you can apply this is vanity publishing, exhibit number one. Vanity publishing is basically publishers who do the opposite of what publisher is supposed to do. But a lot of writers fall for them because they don't know what publishers are supposed to do. They don't even know the business, the basics of the business to a point where they don't know what publishers are supposed to do. So a publisher is supposed to essentially give you a contract. This contract is an exchange. You wrote a book. That book has marketing or market appeal, okay? And so you as the writer, you know how to really get audiences to feel emotions and to write an engaging story. So what happens is publishers pay you an advance and royalties in order to get the privilege to publish your book. It doesn't go the other way around. You don't pay them to get, to get them to publish your book, right? Because they both get to publish your book and not pay you as well. That's wrong. They're supposed to pay you for the privilege of publishing your book. And by giving them your book, they also get the privilege of your book because they can then sell it for profit and share a percentage of that profit with you, which is 10% for the most, of the most time, 15% if you're talking about like uh, uh, you know, paperback. So fundamentally, vanity publishing is literally the opposite of what a publisher is supposed to do. Most writers fail to see this, uh, that get scammed by this, because remember, publishers, writers don't know the business side of things. Another way you can apply this, you devious monster, is by understanding marketing. A lot of writers don't like to market. Since they don't like the business aspect of things, they also don't like the number aspect of things. And what you can do is present yourself um, as the solution to the hopes when it comes to marketing. What's the hopes in terms of marketing? Most writers will hope that they become successful and sell books so that they can live off of their writing and only really write books, which is what they like, and that's their passion. That's a very good idea. However, what ends up happening is that a lot of the time, this hope is actually used in order to scam writers. And this is something you can do with humans in general. Always find out what are the hopes of your target to scam, okay, your victim, okay? Uh, and essentially present yourself as the solution to their hopes, or you have the solution to their hopes. This is how charlatans work. This is how fake gurus work. Uh, internet gurus, or business gurus, or like uh, whatever the heck kind of guru, they always work like this. And so marketing scams essentially work by presenting bad marketing strategies to you that are not effective, 
and then they ask you for money to pay for those bad marketing strategies. Number two, this is the formula by the way. And number three, when those strategies don't work, they ask you to pay more money. Yeah, that's how it works. You will essentially go to them, present them bad strategies. When those strategies don't work, ask for more money because you tell them the problem is, there's not enough money, man, pay me more money. Exactly, and a lot of writers, they don't like thinking about the numbers and they don't like the business aspect of things. This is the underlying philosophy. It's the ultimate weakness of all writers. The worst writer and the type of writer that publishers hate the most is the writer that knows the business and can have a conversation with the editor of the, of the publishing house. Forget about just the agent. So fundamentally, uh, fundamentally, you need to be the type of writer that knows about the business and the numbers of things so you don't get scammed. What's an effective st marketing strategy for writers? That's a good question. You need to learn how to answer that question through observation of modern tactics that work, not ancient techniques or invented nonsense that really doesn't have any impact on the numbers, any significant impact, or doesn't really increase your sales the way you would hope to. I think Gage Coop, uh, you know, a writer, uh, someone who knows the business, uh, in, in an online answer, actually wrote the following. So in explaining the bad marketing strategies out there, he wrote, but the main area of unethical behavior is in the promotion of your book. While there is an excellent uh, metric for measuring the success of promotion, i.e. actual sales, it is easy to make excuses about why your expensive sales campaign is not effective. Just need to spend more money. Lots of experts with varying unethical, uh, ethical uh, standards offer various marketing services, like promotion to 20,000 libraries, uh, world libraries. Uh, the problem with this, he writes, you know, uh, a blurb on your book might be included in a monthly email PDF amongst a hundred other books. A hundred other books is too much. And then he has peripheral marketing or overpriced peripheral marketing. He also goes on to explain send book to like celebrities, uh, Obama, <laughs> Oprah, <laughs> random celebrity and straight to the charity shop. But who wouldn't pay $350 to do that? Uh, he also goes on author branding. What the hell is even, uh, what does that even mean? Uh, maybe lots of expense on something that can't be effectively measured. See, that's how they get you, you know? Bad writing strategies, you can always tell by how immeasurable they are, or you can't effectively, effectively measure them. In fact, this goes for life. As long as you can't measure something, you can always use it to scam people, okay? Um, your own website, uh, it, it go, he goes on to explain, at an inflated price. He also explains, you know, Google, Facebook, Goodreads, adverts, advertising for your book or website. Uh, email marketing campaigns. Who takes any advice of spam, any notice of spam emails? He also talks about press releases and how they are launching straight out into the vacuum. Uh, I love this guy. I really love this guy. This guy is brilliant, okay? Geiji Kube is brilliant. He also talks about book competitions and how there is high entry Vs. Um, he goes on to conclude, you can pay large amounts of unscrupulous operators. 25K is possible with limited return. Uh, fort fortune, he also talks about Writer Beware. Fortunately, one website, Writer Beware, an offshoot of the science fiction and fantasy writers of America, gives an up-to-date and full commentary on what players and schemes to be aware of. Writer Beware. Writer beware, absolutely. And, and also, I've been in this website for years, Writer beware. I, I read almost each one of the posts. They are brilliant, they, they save lives, and they are necessary for surviving in this unscrupulous <laughs> world, okay, of, of um, you know, bad operators. Another way you can scam writers is essentially by paying attention to critique. A lot of writers will technically want to get published. So, you can present, that's the hope. Remember, the operation is someone has a hope, present yourself as the solution to the hope, and scam them through the hope, okay? It's about the hope. What do they hope for? And so they hope to get published. Well, you present yourself as the professional who can get them published and bring the hopes to life. And to do that, you charge them for like writing courses. You can charge an insane writing course that costs $1,000. By the way, no writing course should cost $1,000. That's too much. Unless it's an editing service and they do full developmental editing, you don't pay that amount, okay? Uh, so this is, this is a nice advice for you. But 
ultimately, <laughs> another thing you can do is basically writing courses. Uh, something else is um, critique, but expensive critique, okay? Overinflated critique, that's not even good. Underbaked, dull, boring, and really not effective, okay? Um, so these people will ask you for money to do a bad job. This is, this, is, this is the hallmark of scammers, okay? They'll ask for money, and then they'll do a bad job and run away with the money, and, and that's how it works. So there are a lot of other ways that you can scam writers. Um, and so fundamentally, critique and getting them good enough to publish, the hope of becoming good enough to publish one day, is enough for you to set, to, to set up a road obstacle, put yourself in the way, and present yourself as for them to get published you are the thing that they have to go through you know like you are the gatekeeper or the know-how or the professional exactly <laughs> so uh, that's how it works these are few writing scams that I've really um, taken note of I found more so I'll make another video a follow-up of more writing scams and I hope that you like the current you know format that I'm doing uh, sitting down not more shaking a lot I kept the stick some of you advised that I keep it, and so I kept it. Uh, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and you took something from it. Try to beware, don't get scammed.